Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us once again. We have a lot of Rocket League action ready to go in store for you after coming off the heels of such an incredible game from the previous series, the Bears versus the Massey Mustangs. I'm very excited to see what these next teams have in store for us. We're going to have the Dragons going up against their next opponent, wow. and I'm very excited to see how that's going to go for both of these and teams. The Dragons versus the Reapers. What a name. That's Those are two very good teams. Team mascot names. Those oh, are yeah. beautiful names. Very cool, very edgy. I'm excited to see who comes out on top. We saw CTK's Billy Billy Gamers team earlier mm -hmm. today, so this is their second team. I think this should be a good showing as well. We have no idea what the Dragons have in store for us, so let's see what they have going on. So far, it seems that they're going to be doing a great job right off the get-go. Already over on blue side, the Dragons are fighting for control. They're going to take it to Orange, but it's not exactly going to be very easy for them as they're wrestling for control, taking over to the blue now off the ceiling. It's going to bounce off the wall to be a nice setup for a teammate. Venomzilla is going to find a nice demo over on the Happy, and Ali is going to try to recuperate that one, taking it back to blue corner. Rim Rips is going to be able to be on the back line, not going to uh, fight too hard for it. Restraint is a very important part of battle. If you go charging headlong in, you will not like the results. So it is important to just wait for the ball to get cleared up before you react onto it. But Rim Rips doing the exact opposite, chasing it down, cross field, taking it and uh, launching that shot right into the net. Excellently done. Dragons are taking that first point of this. It's a beautiful point for the Dragons starting things off strong. The Reapers, I'm sure, will answer back until very soon. As we see, the kickoff goes relatively well for the Dragons. And now, we try to take control of this ball and go for a bit of a big dunk here. Getting a beautiful setup. Can a teammate dunk it in? No, no one can find it as there's a beautiful clear from the Reapers. And now true AJ Cannon going to take control of the ball and try to open something up for his own team. Yeah, and now as you see the Dragons doing a good job stealing that away from Venomzilla. True AJ Cannon is trying to get something working here. A Mega Shoe offering the support and that was almost a goal there, but thankfully both defensive players from the side of the Dragons were able to steal that away and in fact are able to turn that into yet another goal. We're only a couple of minutes into this first game, but with two goals on the line already, it seems that the Dragons are really feeling themselves and are awake, ready to go. Yeah, Dragons living up to their name. They're like beasts out here, the king on the hoard of gold. They're looking to get even more gold here as they're looking at these points. As you see, Grim Rip's gonna go for the contest there. Once again, it's in the control of the Reapers. They might be able to see something happen here. Once again, it's back over to the Dragons. Ooh. They find a beautiful opening, and Grim Rips gets another goal. Another goal, and again, it is often about just making the statement. And I feel like right now, a strong statement that the Dragons are making is that they are not afraid to get their hands dirty. Uh, we've seen that in these engagements, in these control situations, they are not hesitant to get in and start fighting. Right now, the Reapers are trying to at least get something on the board here. Going down too many points not only puts you in line of uh, being put in the crosshairs of the Mercy Roll, but it also is pretty hard to recover mentally from you know, losing a game is too difficult. Um, they want to at least show that they have some signs of life or else the Dragons will feel very comfortable kind of walking through this series. You never want your opponent to feel comfortable in any competition. So the Reapers are doing a lot of good work right now to put that pressure on the Dragons. They haven't found the point yet, but if they keep on their current track, they'll find one soon as true AJ Cannon she, which leads the charge. is not gonna find the goal just yet. But like I said, if they can maintain what they're doing so far, it's not too far away from fighting this way yet. Not too far away indeed, but right now things are looking very good for the Dragons. Continuing to claim dominance here on this uh, battlefield of Rocket League. Now things might change though. If someone gets teed up once again, Grim Rip's looking for the goal of the game. And it in just yet as the Reapers defense is getting stronger each and every time. Look 
got to make it you. Try to find something as well. Got to try to go for a clear out as the pressure is mounting from the Dragons. They go for another shot. Can they manage to clear it out? And yes, they do. They manage to save it. And Amzilla now making a blitz for the goal of his own. Going with his teammates. This is back. This is just such back and forth aggression. The Dragons know that the best defense is a good offense. They're keeping that ball hanging on that blue side, not letting it get close to their side at all. Not even letting it get in a scary position. I feel like right now, the Dragons, like I said, they made a statement and they made a point with these first three. But I feel like they still have a lot more to say and they're gonna let their wheels do the talking as they almost get that shot in, accidentally nudging it out in the last moment there. The Reaper's breathing a huge sigh of relief, but it's not gonna be long before the Dragons come back with a vengeance and you can already see the shot getting made. Grim Rips coming off the assist with the teammate. Happy launching that off of the corner and that's gonna be leading to an excellent goal. 50 seconds remaining. It's not impossible, but the Reapers right now might just be preparing mentally just for getting comfortable for the next game, figuring out what they can do better and, uh, you know, just resetting and forgetting this one. To try to reset after this because the dragons are just running that high. Continue to be dominant carrying this momentum throughout the game. I mean, look at that. Five goals now on the board. It's five and oh. If we do see a few more goals, the mercy rule is now within reach. Yeah, and if that happens, then your team will just have to make sure that you. One, don't let it get to your head. You still have two more games to play and a lot more Rocket League to play throughout the day. So you can't let that boost you too much. And on the other side of things, you can't let that deflate you too much, you know? Sometimes you're just not playing at your best. You just gotta make sure you come back in the next game fighting even stronger. As we see the next goal coming out from the Dragons, such a clean shot. The setups are looking so fierce from the Dragons. They're not giving any room to capitalize on any of these uh, mistakes that they might be making. The Reapers don't have enough time to take those shots. So with 20 seconds remaining, either team could get the goal. That would be the last thing that really leaves the taste in our mouths from this game. It'll be what we remember. Will we get the Mercy Rule or will the Reapers at least put one on the board? Of course, neither of those things can happen. And we just have to wait and see what both teams have in store for Game 2. There it is. Game one. It's the end of game one, going over to the Dragons 6-0, and and I think that is one of the best performances we've seen so far from a team. They played very, very well. It's nothing to say against the Reapers either. They play very, very well. For I think sure. the Dragons are just on that next caliber from what we saw of that first game. Exactly. The Dragons were able to just completely control the field in basically all respects. They never really let up on their defense. Of course, with six goals, they never let up on their offense. The Reapers were just struggling to find an opportunity to make something work. But we've seen it many times today, just alone, let alone in, you know, our experience in collegiate. It's so far from over, it'd be even foolish to start thinking for a second that it is as the Reapers, even in that game alone, demonstrating that they still are very capable of fighting and doing a lot, getting a lot done. In this game too, I'm sure that they're gonna look for even more opportunities to do so and even walk out the victory. I've seen so many teams that ride on that momentum. If you can just get that first goal, everything else seems to work that much easier. So I think the Reapers may be one of those teams looking for that first goal to get the domino effect started. As we see, it looks like they're going to start going very, very aggressive here on the Dragon's goal, trying to get a big setup going. Managed to find the clear, and that is the Dragons finding a beautiful opening, and that is going to be the first goal going over to them. And like you said, Matthias, so many teams can ride the momentum. Sometimes all you need is that first goal, and I don't think the Dragons need any more momentum than they've already gotten. Yet here we are; they are the first uh, to get a goal in this next game as well. 
that could spell, you know, what the rest of this game could look like if they keep this going so far. Right now, throughout the whole series, they're 7 0. In this game, they are 1 0. That almost was 2 0. But thankfully, the Reapers' defense is still holding on strong. They have not let up in that regard. Far from it, in fact, because now they're trying to get it clear. They're going to get some good bumps as well, preventing Happy from getting control of this shot. But as Ali now trying to clear out of the corner, Rip Rip is going to do good work to help him out as the Dragons now are turning their attention to the offense. They're starting their attack. They're controlling the left side of this field. But now, as it goes over to the right, Happy is recentering, refocusing, and trying to get the shot off. It was intercepted, however, by AJ Cannon. But Grim Rips is going to take it right back over to Blue. In fact, looking for a shot. Going to slow up and make it a pass instead to a teammate passing to himself, in fact. And now it's going to be going up the side. But a pass is going to get shot over. Um, intercepted from Venomzilla and taken out of the corner. Now, over to Orange side. The Dragon has got to play a little bit of defense to make sure the Reapers don't find and tie this game up. Exactly. They want to try and keep this one competitive now until the Reapers have thoroughly advanced their defense. It's always so much harder for the Dragons to get these goals that they got in the first game. They're still not letting up on the attack. They're looking to answer the score. They're just so close. They just need to dunk it right into the clear. The Dragons makes it that much harder for them to do. So once again, it's back to a neutral state of the game. Dragons now looking for some pressure on the Reapers. And that is a shot towards the goal. And now they're going to start to mount these attacks. Wait for the tee up from the teammate. And go for the setup. But it gets cleared out once again. It's just so hard, especially in these neutral situations. Reapers, Christ the King. Secondary school. They are doing a great job at not relenting. Every single time the ball gets close to them, they all come together as one squad and try their best to make it work. But I feel like that even might be biting them in the back a couple times here. As when they are too close, they are too together. That leaves a lot of gaps in the offense for the Dragons to capitalize off of and turn them into goals. They see here Ali finding the opportunity as they were both together on that side those are two less players you need to worry about and their last one is probably occupied with the dragons offense probably bumping and and bruising him in a corner too so the dragons are doing a great job at splitting up their offense and forcing the reapers to split up as well and it's just complete and utter control coming out from the dragons team Utter control and complete another chaos back and forth here in this corner. You can tell that these players are itching to get these goals moving once again. See how they take control of our football, gonna make a blitz with his team, but they have to watch out. The Reapers getting more aggressive with each in the passing second. Now, this might be a goal for them on there. They need to clear, and that's gonna be the Reapers getting a point on the board. That's the first one of the series, and they needed that for sure. They really needed at least some kind of kindling, some spark to get the fire started. And I think this might be what they need. In fact, that goal kind of shows the way this match has been going for the Reapers. It's more so they've been trying to play off the back of the Dragons initiative. But I feel like for that first time there, they took control and were able to make something happen. If they can learn the lesson from that goal and turn this into a trend throughout the series, I think we'll have a lot of success. But a shot coming out from Alley, going right over the head of the defense from the Reapers. That is going to further extend the gap in this series. And now we're looking at 3-1 in games. 3-1 for the Drains. They're still showing their dominance, but now the Reaper is definitely within closing distance. They've cleaned up their defense quite a bit since the last game, keeping things very competitive, putting a bullet point on the board. Just a few more for them, and things should be looking good, and that's a nice shot on the goal. Putting a lot of pressure on the Dragons, they're forced to go for the treatment on the defense. Now once again, it's cleared out. Trinity Cannon going to be the one eyeing this ball, getting a nice angle towards the goal. Pressure still mounting from the Dragons. They take a shot on the goal. Now the defense has to come through for the Reaper. Doing an amazing job on the defense as well. It's improved so much from that first game. But still, the Dragons finding new ways to shoot on this goal still managed to score the points. 
Another shot, another goal coming up from the Dragons. I feel like it's not surprising to say right now they are looking to be on fire. A team for sure to be on the watch out for for any of the teams here. And the Reapers are definitely bearing the brunt of all of this pressure that the Dragons are laying at their feet. But after another kickoff, that's going to be another possession coming with the Dragons. That's going to be another shot. That's going to be another goal going their way. We have a four-goal gap here in game two but the reapers are still fighting and ultimately that's all you ever truly need in any competition yeah this is looking very good for the dragons right now the reapers did an amazing job at holding themselves in this game for so long now the dragons have seemingly found the momentum from the last game once again and getting this massive score lead is going to be an amazing boon for them going forward Rip's gonna go for a goal once again. They get the setup. Six to one is a great scoreline for the Dragons. A great scoreline. I'm sure even now they're probably not content with. And they want to make that even wider as we always see their continuous offense never leaves any breathing room for their opponents. And it's exactly what you need if you want to see yourself take this tournament away make sure that you are capable of taking games like this and the dragons right now for sure showing us what they're capable of and that they have a chance to contend for that winning title here as in the last three seconds of the game here the dragons are just barely taking it up now one to seven and if not for that first goal that the reapers took just a little bit ago we already would have seen that mercy rule yeah, three seconds left. Dragons could potentially get the mercy rule if they get the kickoff goal. But that's going to be pretty much impossible as now there's no time left. But Dragons once again having an absolutely amazing showing. And good progression for the Reapers to hold out for so long, keep that scoreline very competitive for the most part. Yeah, very competitive. The Reapers, while they're only able to find one goal, they did do a lot better of a job of, you know, fighting back against the Dragons offense. It was one to seven, but I'm telling you, Matthias, it could have been one to a lot more if the Reapers weren't staying on point consistently and ensuring that they were acting as a team, acting as a unit to prevent themselves from getting overwhelmed from the Dragons offense. Now going to game three, I'm sure that the Reapers have been talking, they've been figuring out strategies things that they need to do to come back in this series. Whereas the Dragons, I think all they need to do is make sure, once again, they don't get complacent. They don't try, they don't ease off of the gas at all. They want to make sure that they're still playing at 100% and act as if their life is on the line. Because as soon as you let up and as soon as you get complacent that's when series really start to get stolen away from exactly. you exactly you don't want to get complacent but you know you have to give some props to both teams here the the dragons just absolutely playing in their peak form they're doing an amazing job so far probably one of the stronger teams we've seen so far absolutely. in the tournament but you also have to give props to the reapers they're keeping this very competitive at least for the first stretches you know but it's just like a few gaps in their defense that they need to tighten up just a little bit and then they're right up there with the best of the best it's just the fact that the dragons are able to find these like impossible gaps in those defenses mm -hmm. and slip the ball in time after time Absolutely. So that was an incredible game. And now, actually, that is going to be an incredible series as we're just receiving word now that the Reapers are going to forfeit game three. So that is going to be 3-0 for uh, the Dragons. And again, an incredible team, an incredible series, well played from both teams. But, ladies and gentlemen, do not get it mistaken. We still have so, so much Rocket League in store for you for the rest of the day. But that is going to be after a brief, momentary, hour-long lunch break before we come back and continue the action for the rest of this tournament. Again, I'm Daniil, also known as Betters McGee, joined by... Matthias Matthias Talbot. Yeah, and we'll see you all very soon.